I'm gonna go make breakfast now and show you guys what I have on like a normal kind of typical summer day, even though it's not summer at all. It's almost summer. But anyway, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me to go do that. Oh, I have to carry so much stuff down. I can't vlog as I go down. it doesn't obviously didn't snap because the stuff's like real so like it wouldn't break that easily and it just like came apart so I have to get that fixed I think Maggie's gonna take it on Thursday when she goes to Boston to get it fixed for me which I'm really sad because it's my keys so now it's like two things I might honestly like I'm gonna take my E off for now oh, this is so sad before I even get into it, thank you so much Subdued for sponsoring this video. But if you guys were wondering, while I was in Aruba, a lot of some of my, well, not all of my bathing suits, but a few of my bathing suits were subdued. Also, my romper I was wearing was subdued. A shirt I was wearing was from Subdued. Um, and you guys were like, Emma, where is this stuff from? And I was like, Subdued, it's amazing. All of you guys were asking, commenting on my pictures, my videos and stuff. So I actually have a mini haul for you that I'm just gonna throw in right now. And a few outfit ideas, and I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite things. But first, I'm gonna show you the romper that I actually did wear in Aruba that is just a normal romper, and it has a cutout right here on the stomach, and it ties right here. And it's short sleeve. I love this romper. Um, I wore it out to dinner one night. I forget what night it was, but Gretchen was wearing one similar to it, and it was so cute. It's like my, my favorite thing ever. And then this bathing suit that I actually wore while I was in Aruba as well, and it's like the sports bra type material, not material, sports bra style top, and it has like a ribbed kind of texture, and then the bottoms of it are the same rib texture that are just black, and they're a little cheeky, which I love because I love cheeky bikinis. Um, but I love this bathing suit too. The quality of the stuff is so nice. Like, it's really, really nice and very, very, like, durable. I also got this baby blue little tank top. I thought this was the cutest thing ever. It's a crop tank top. It's v-neck too, and it's gonna be so cute for the summer. This color makes you look so tan you guys know i love being tan oh. this next thing that i got was i like had fourth of july in mind and it is this bathing suit top that is just like a bandeau yeah a bandeau type top and it's again like well it's not ribbed it's more of a seersucker material if you guys know what i mean it looks like this and it's red white and like a dark blue yeah, it's like a dark navy blue. I thought this was so cute and I can't wait to wear it because especially when you're tan, you're gonna look so good in this. And I don't know, I just love this bathing suit top. And then to go along with it, I got these white bottoms that are also have like the ribbed material, which are the same as the black ones, a little cheeky as well. And I just thought they were super cute and go well together, especially for holidays and stuff. Ah, you can see me through the little hole. It looks just like one that I've seen before, but this one, I love it so much. It's like the block type, how do I explain it? It's a one piece, but like two colors, obviously. I don't know what it's called when it's like that, but it has cutouts in the front and the back, and then the sides of it are like skinny like this, and I love it. It's cheeky too. This one piece is my favorite thing ever it's so flattering on too because it shows a little bit of your stomach and your back and i just the material again i don't know what it is but the stuff like this stuff is just so soft and the material is so nice i got a pair of jean shorts to go along with it these are just distressed jean shorts and you guys know that i'm always looking for a perfect pair of jean shorts and i'm just like i can't ever find them i only like levi ones but then once i found these Holy grail, these are the best. These are my new favorite shorts, subdued, 
And I think that these two look good together, the little white cami and the subdued shorts because when you're tan, obviously the white makes you look a lot more tan. And these are just the perfect shorts for the summer because they're not too short, but they also have the perfect amount of rips and distress on the bottom. These are seriously the best. And honestly, you can wear any of the other shirts that I got with these shorts or the bathing suit tops even. It all looks so good. And then the last thing I got, which I'm so I'm so excited to show you guys these because I have been talking about needing a pair of black shorts for so long. And I finally found a perfect pair of black shorts. Guys, these are the best. Look at them. They're just stressed so beautifully. Like I'm so picky with the distressed shorts or jeans and they have to be perfect. These are perfect. Oh my God, and I love shorts that have the buttons like this just cause, I don't know, I feel like they fit better instead of a zipper. Cause sometimes like a zipper will, go will like go down a little bit, but these shorts are perfect. And then I'm pairing them with this one piece that is so different and cute. First of all, I love this color on myself. It's such a beautiful color. It's like a what do you call this? Like a cobalt blue, maybe? No, or is that royal? I don't know. This is like a softer type of blue. I love this color so much. And the texture of this, so different. I love it. And it adds like something when you're wearing it. It's not just like a plain bathing suit. It has that texture. And the back is so beautiful. Once again, it is also cheeky. I love cheeky bikini bikinis. I will only wear cheeky bathing suits. And the back just dips down so low which is so flattering because you see a lot of your back that's like what i'm into is seeing like a lot of back with like dip things like a bunch of one pieces you know and i thought pairing these two things together would look so good on because i don't know i just like love the way that black looks along with this color i think it's perfect anyway those are the things that i just recently picked up from subdued again they sent me those items but i absolutely love them and you guys need to check them out because their stuff so cute and the bathing suits are such good quality and the shorts are the best shorts ever like i'm not even trying to be like oh this is sponsored like it actually is the best and it's my new favorite place i'm gonna start shopping there a lot more one thing that is a major, major, major force on Cape Cod is the pollen. Oh my gosh, guys. During the spring, the pollen is terrible. Like my car right now, it's a black car. And it is, why do I leave sugar wipers on? My car's covered in pollen, so it makes it look yellow. Like neon yellow. And it's so bad for when I run. Like I go running outside because I have like this loop that I love doing. And whenever I run outside in the spring, my eyes get so itchy. Mm. <laughs> I love Drake. Oh my god, real quick, Maggie and I are going to Drake and Migos in September. She got me tickets for my birthday. Obviously I know already because like we decided on it being my birthday present. Uh, my birthday is July 22nd, so like it's kind of a month and a few days after. But I am so excited. I can't wait. Oh my gosh. And I really want to go. So at the um, Xfinity Center, which is in Mansfield, I think. Massachusetts, obviously. I They're having like, there's like a Lil Uzi concert. I want to go so bad. Okay, hi guys. I'm back. So I went into Marshall's to try to find a, um, what should I call it? Like a container I guess you could say for iced coffee because every summer Aggie and I make iced coffee we put into a container and then we just obviously pour it in the morning but we make Mary Lou's at home so we don't have to drive 20 minutes every single day to get it um so I went in there to get that container obviously and I didn't even find it and I came out with one two three four five other things <laughs> um but I got this it's a uh, pure collagen like these things, Maggie and I used to always get this, but they used to come into like a big container and I found it here. Using this, like if I put into a smoothie, if I drink a smoothie in the morning or try to like incorporate it into my daily routine, um, my hair, I so totally see like a 
different like a change in it my hair gets so silky and shiny and soft so if you guys like find this near you or anywhere near you you guys need to try it out I love oh it. my god okay guys today the last time I vlogged was I was just leaving Marshall's and I got a bunch of stuff um I didn't get to finish showing you guys what I got because my memory card was like beep 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 and I was like what and I guess like it they didn't have storage stuff, so then I went home, ate some food. I just had a bunch of vegetables and hummus. And then I was like, okay, I'll just put my footage that's on my like memory card onto my laptop so then I can vlog more. I put the memory card back in and it goes beep, 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 again! Oh my god, and I was like, no! Um, I like feel bad because like I wanted to vlog so much during that time of me not being able to vlog because my camera wasn't Well, not my camera. I just didn't have a memory card. I was like kind of sad But here I am back back at it again ah. I just looked online for homework that I should do that I missed And my chemistry class I just have the chem like study thingy that I have to do um, my review packet. History, I have a new project that obviously I need to like go and ask my teacher about it and talk to him about it. Math, I, there's like, she didn't really say anything. It was just like stuff that like I have to get in class. And English, I guess we're reading a new book. So, <laughs> great. Anyway, I should probably, it's five o'clock now. I have dinner at six. So I'm gonna start getting ready around 5.30. Ooh, maybe I'll watch 13 Reasons Why right now until then. That's, okay, good idea. I'm gonna do that. Hi guys, I just got back from dinner. It's not, uh, 7.44 now, shoot. Last time I looked at the clock, it was 7.12. But that was like when I was on my way home. But anyway, I, I am getting, <laughs> you can only see my head. What the heck? You only can see everything from here. I guess not. Anyway, I'm getting ready for bed. I'm gonna go to bed early, like nine maybe. wash my face off with some hot water and then dry it like pat it to dry and put my favorite face mask on so I'll show you guys when I'm doing a face mask okay so I actually just did my mask and I did the be very clear illuminating peel mask this one minimizes pores and oh I just dipped in my nose it minimizes pores and it makes your skin like obviously illuminized, illuminated. <laughs> yeah something like that but um, as this dries, it, these actually take a very long time if you want it to fully, fully dry so you don't peel it off and like there's like sticky spots of it not being fully peeled off. Um, they take a little bit. Oh, I left my chapstick in my jeans. I have to do that. I have to go get that. But I'm gonna put some chapstick on. This one's just Burt's Bees Coconut and Hair Chapstick. And as I'm waiting for this to dry, I think I might watch Netflix because I have nothing else to do. Um, normally I hate watching TV, movies, anything like that, but <laughs> 13 Reasons Why the new season just came out and I used to be obsessed with that show so I'm watching the new season and then I think I might, once I'm done with this, I might watch the new season of Riverdale because I watched that during the fall and loved it. But until then I'm going to charge my camera so I can vlog when I'm done and peeling this off. But I'll show you guys obviously me taking this off. My face, it looks like I just sweat. <laughs> oh my gosh, I totally forgot to vlog because I was on FaceTime with Maggie, but I am doing my like after mask skincare routine. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys obviously what I'm gonna do, what I did to my face. So I rinsed off like the residue of, not the residue, but the mask says once you peel it off, you like wait a little bit for the oils that are on your skin because the one that I use is kind of like oily. I waited a little bit for it to soak in and like really be like in my skin. And then I rinsed it off with hot water, 
which also like hot water opens up your pores so it made it go like in more I guess I don't know and then I used one of these to <laughs> not two but I used one of these with um, some witch hazel which it's all gone so I'm not even gonna show you the thing but just like random like CVS one and then I wiped off my face with that and I obviously was flying recently because I was traveling and my skin hates me for traveling I'm also that time of month that time of the month on my period so like extra hates me and I have these like little like red areas I have one right here that hurts this one and this one just those and I use these natural facial cleansing pads with tea tree oil from Trader Joe's. These things are great. My mom introduced these to me and they just kind of like clean your face a little bit of extra oomph of getting it all away. And I just put this glow serum that I have. I'm still trying to like rub it in. Put the glow serum all over my face. I'll show you guys that in a second. It's by the brand Valjean. Valjean Labs. So that's the serum I used. And now I have my moisturizer on because I was like, shoot, I need to vlog as I was gonna do my moisturizer, but I'm using my everyday moisturizer that I use all the time. The oil-free moisturizer for sensitive skin by Neutrogena. And I put two little, well, I pump in like a half. And I'm gonna put that all over my face. So I put that on and then lastly, I'm gonna put on this Clinique Repair Wear Laser Focus Wrinkle Correcting Eye Cream. So obviously I don't need wrinkle correcting eye cream because I'm only 16 and I don't have wrinkles. But it's always good to start, yeah, I guess, like start young. Just so like in the long run, you don't get wrinkles. So like it's good to like put it on and I put Whenever I'm like putting something on my eyes, I always use my index finger just because I feel like that finger is the most gentle or I think I heard that somewhere, I'm not really sure. But I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna put the leftovers on my like smile lines. And then I'm gonna grab a tiny, tiny, literally tiny, you can't even see it a bit more, and put it right here and right here where like forehead wrinkles are and right here between my eyebrows because I do this thing with my eyebrows all the time. <laughs> it's so bad but like it's like a habit of mine so yeah i told myself i was gonna go to bed early but it is 10 30. of course that always happens and i'm so not used to going to bed since i was just on vacation <laughs> and i would go to bed at like 12 1 2 ish every day but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys